Welcome back, everybody. Since you're here, the Call of Duty videos. Today, we're going to be looking at Modern Warfare 3. Recently, there was an update to lag compensation, apparently. So, how did it go? My first game was pretty good. I, everybody I shot, I pretty much died instantly. Well, I didn't realize the same could be happening to me very shortly. So, I jumped into a game solo with another team just to uh, get experience with how lag comp was working. And here's how it went. Here's how the game started. So, this enemy member comes around the corner. Now, the physics don't work here. The way he was facing, the way he was turned, I don't know that he was ever shooting. Now, in the game, unfortunately, this is theater mode. In the game, actually, I was hip-firing. I actually got three or four rounds off onto him with hit markers, but obviously they didn't register because I was dying. Now, if we look at how he was shooting, he was actually shooting ahead of me, where I was going. As I turn the corner, and if we look from his perspective, he is still shooting behind me and never really gets his gun completely around onto me as a target. Frustrating. So I respawn. I'm pushing forward. I'm coming out. I respawn. Drop shot. Put rounds onto this guy. Flying prone. I shoot. Nothing. Shooting. Finally get the rounds to connect. So not only are they, is this an anticipation on my movement for the enemy that they are allowed to shoot ahead of me or behind me, that the actual target picture for me has grown immensely. I don't know if that's what they're working on. It's actually increasing the target picture for the person with the three bar. I actually, in this game, have a four bar, and the other team has three bars. So was their lag compensation increasing my target picture? Is the target allowance for hitting me much greater now than for my enemies? Is mine trunk? Is that how they're compensating? Maybe. I can only assume. Now, is there a complex mechanic for how you anticipate movement? Maybe. And maybe by doing that, maybe they just simplified it and make it a big target picture and smaller target picture. I can't say. So I come up here, no damage, come around, one shot dead. I, I, I it was a shot. It, the whole game was pretty much like that. Fortunately, this team was more worried about killing because they got so excited they were killing everything that they looked at. They're killing our team. They're just mowing through us. I mean, there was just no equality at all. So he comes around with a fad, typically known for low damage high fire rate so his first round actually went into the wall and then suddenly the gun fires two rounds at once and i'm dead instantly don't know why don't know how uh maybe was a headshot i don't know but let's look here now i turn the corner insta dead okay so i don't know if my target picture let's look as i shoot here he kills me instantly barely even get a look at him plausible okay well we'll call it modern warfare 3 killing but let's look at this one. This is actually kind of interesting. The enemy is actually shooting at my teammate here and actually is shooting ahead of me. He shot at my teammate who backed away. He fires around through the wall in front of me to where I'm going. Okay? As I'm approaching the wall, coming around the corner. Now, this is happening at a much higher rate. You have to recognize this is actually as slow as 0.1 the normal speed. So this is as slow as I can. So the first round that perhaps connects is actually into my shoulder. Now, do I show any indication of being hit? No. Does that matter? No. I'm going to call that a hit. But now let's look at how big my target picture becomes suddenly. What is the killing shot for me? How big is my target that the enemy can hit for me to die? Let's look at where this round goes. Bang. Those rounds are behind me. They hit the wall behind me. And for whatever reason, now you see where my weapon is. That's where my target picture, that's how wide my target picture has become. So it's not only, so let's look at it. So he, this enemy comes around the corner, and <laughs> here, let's look at it right here. Let's look at it very carefully. So he's coming around the corner from one of those Hescos. He's moving into loading docks. Now this is my teammate, sees him. He shoots behind him and is dead. Okay, first round into his leg, maybe. Okay, so this is how they were mowing through. This is actually why they lost, I think, because they were just killing everything. Now, is this a new lag comp? Is this great lag comp? Look, he's shooting behind, shooting behind, shooting behind, shooting behind, dead. How big is that target picture at 90%? So he kills my teammate. I'm coming out. I just respawned from being killed, one shot killed, of course. This enemy of mine, this opponent, comes around. He's killing everything. Final example, let's look at. I'm throwing a C4 onto a flag to protect it. Now, in this case, I probably would have died no matter what the lag comp, but it does indicate how powerful or how delayed or how compensated somebody against the host is. So, like I said, I would have died. I had my back to the opponent. He's going to shoot me in the back. Whether he hits me once or a thousand times, I would not have been able to turn and kill him. Maybe in Black Ops, maybe, but not this game. 
So you'll see the opponent coming from behind me here. Now he has a PP90, uh, not rapid fire, extended max. One shot, dead. Okay. Now my the animation for me dying happened after the first round was fired. Now would he have killed me? Yeah, pretty much. I think that there was an anticipation of me being shot. The computer compensated for it and allowed him to kill me. Is it playable? If you have, if your compass, if your target picture is small and the opponent's is big, yeah, it's great, it's awesome. But if you're on this side, it sucks. Well, if this, let me know if this is happening to you, what you think of it. Anyway, until next time, catch you next time.